Krista Kapoor Hill Shopway, Mayapagar Vedivascular Association. Uh, it's a special acoustic base uh, that can be targeted and focused non-inversely to a selected area inside the patient's body. And the shock waves usually used in the last decades in many of the procedures that is mainly urology to redu uh, remove the kidney stone that we that's what we call as lithotripsy and in case of orthopedics uh, it's uh, used as a form of plantar facilities applications. What is cystrocorporeal shockwave myocardial revascularization? So it's a non-aggressive therapy approach using cystrocorporeal wave technology and it is a form of revascularization. And in case if the ischemic myocardial cells, it's not accessible by any other conventional method, we can go after that is extracorporeal shockwave myocardial uh, revascularization. So the main purpose is to treat for the patients uh, no longer benefit from current revascularization methods or even we can induce uh, local angiogenesis at a myocardial ischemic areas using low intensity. Uh, this is a non-invasive focused and short phase. And usually the treatment is performed using a shockwave generator that is designed to address the unique clinical anatomical requirements of the chest cavity. And what is estrocorporeal shockwave myocardial revascularization? So it's a non-invasive treatment. So actually during the ESMO therapy, there will be a formation of new blood vessels take place and which is significantly improves the so supply of oxygenated blood to the part of the heart that is affected without so without surgery. It is an alternative method of surgery. So we can go for an extracorporeal shockwave myocardial uh, revascularization. So here it will be create a high voltage electric uh, uh, spark discharge and the water vaporizers and create an explosion and uh, there will be a generating of high energy shock waves and it will be reflected by the semi ellipsoid and mainly it will be focusing on the ischemic area. Uh, so the ESMR treatment is called a non invasive treatment hence no surgery is involved. What are the clinical benefits? So the clinical benefits it's the uh, there will be a reduction of CCS, antenna class, and there will be an increase in maximum exercise capacity. And even though the patient's exercise tolerance time will be increased, and there will be an improvement in physical limitation, and uh, there will be an improvement in the antennal frequency, and uh, improvement in myocardial perfusion, and it will reduce the nitrate index. So the patient those are undergoing extracorporeal shockwave myocard revascularization, we can titrate the nitrate intake. And uh, no acute or long term side effects were reported. Coming to the benefits, so the benefits it is a quick and safe non-inversive treatment and no option patient with a myocardial ischemia and it will mainly focus on the large focal zone and it is a quick treatment and a total transmural coverage and it is high success rates and safety of treatment if you look back the research there is a maximal success rate in ESMO therapy and it broad echocardiographic compatibility and even it reduced symptomatic manifestation and it improves the patient's quality of life. And what is the duration of the treatment? So the duration of treatment should take only 20 to 30 minutes and the patient should be present for a total of 9 sessions spanning of 9 weeks. And uh, treating the heart of the matter. So it's a Medispex normal technology for cardiology provided. It's a unique therapy for unsolved any other medical conditions mainly cardiac surgery and a co-cardiography based therapy en enables the non-invasive solution and it is a short treatment time and there is no side effect and ESMO has proven to be safe in more than 60 medical centers worldwide. Here you can see the how they are performing the ESMO therapy. 
So it's a shock waves accurately reduce arterial perfusion pressure on artificially perfused that is uh, and its shear shock wave exerts the cavitation effect inside and outside of cells including the localized uh, stress on cell chamber that resembles geostress and it causes non-enzymatic nitric oxide synthesis from anion and hydrogen peroxide. And yes, some more treatment is advised to patients who cannot undergo surgical procedures anymore and the treatment does not require any surgery or medication and it is uh, complements the existing therapies a patient will, will be undergoing. And the complete treatment is uh, administered in the outpatient sessions. So no requirement for the patient to stay in the hospital because it has uh, nine sessions and three continuous sessions in one month. So for each session, it will take 20 to 30 minutes. So ESMR treatment process. So at each treatment section, shock waves should be delivered to the border of the ischemic area triggering the viable tissue for angiogenesis and the doctor first identify the treatment area in the heart using ultrasound imaging and the next they will be simultaneously apply the shock wave applicator in accurately position based on the ultrasound waves which examine the heart action. Coming to the benefits, so the benefits it is a quick and safe non-inversive treatment and no option patient with a myocardial ischemia and it will mainly focus on the large focal zone and it is a quick treatment and a total transmural coverage and it is high success rates and safety of treatment if you are back and the shock waves is uh, is uh, the shock wave therapy is uh, systematically infused endothelial cognitive cells and a rat model of chronic limb ischemia and it's uh, like a sound waves these are delivered through a reflector from the skin and to uh, not this here this ESMO therapy there is no requirement of doing any incision here the reflector is attached to the patient's skin as like uh, we are taking an ultrasound so here the patient's skin near the affected area with the water cushion and the doctor will be start monitor and the shock waves are passed through the patient body and the system is fully computerized to providing accuracy and control in the procedure. What are the side effects of ESMR therapy? So, so far there, has, uh, there is no reports of long term or acute side effects and ESMR, EMSR is one of the best and effective treatment for myocardial revascularization and in further the patient can avoid angioplasty or bypass surgery if the patient has undergone extra corporate short wave myocardial revascularization and the complete treatment is uh, administered in the outpatient sessions so no requirement for the patient to stay in the hospital because it has uh, nine sessions and three continuous sessions in one month so for each session and even the multiple surgical in interventions have taken place and these are not an option anymore. So sometimes already the patient might have undergone any uh, open heart surgery twice or thrice again that the patient had and symptoms of any ischemic uh, attack. So we can go for an extracorporate shockwave myocardial revascularization. And even the patient who's experienced antenna pain and would like to explore medication or surgery for the patient with more than 80 years of age, we can go for extracorporeal shockwave myocardial revascularization. Extracorporeal shockwave myocardial